Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in uh, Workers and Resources uh, in the Soviet Republic. Right. Okay, so Iron Town has people. Uh, right, so we'll get things rolling. See, we have people, right? Yeah, we have people. Um, we also need uh, some more residences uh, built, you know. Um, why is this stop production? No workers. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's why I need more, um, uh, more residences up here, uh, where we can get some, uh, workers to, uh, move in, right? Um, yeah, that is probably fine that's probably fine it's probably fine um oh i should uh do this thing and that probably it can do with that and the kindergarten no staff, yeah, because it doesn't have a connection to the paths, yeah, so if I do that, and maybe that, yeah, yeah, that's going to uh, impact um, the uh, ability of people to work, yeah, uh, that that is probably the issue there. Uh, meanwhile, these guys will continue getting built. Ah, oh, they're waiting for uh, workers. Um, well, I could allow some workers to just stroll in. Yeah, this one waiting for workers too? Yeah, I could allow some workers to just stroll in there. That'll get those built a little bit faster. And... Yeah, then that'll allow population growth to move in up here. Um, yeah, that's going to... That's going to build slowly. Right, okay. Uh, at least until some mechanisms arrive which are not coming. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if I if I erode all the uh, workers up here for a moment, these should go up a little bit faster. But I could also add the uh, other uh, construction offices there, which might bring mechanisms up, right? Yeah, it'll bring the cranes up. Okay, and then when these things finish and this starts going... Yeah, okay. That should get uh, that should get some stuff operational. Uh, right? How is this sending? It's sending a bus. Okay. Well, that's going to get. Let's see, forty-four, sixty, about seventy workers uh, will become available when the kindergarten becomes accessible. I knew I'd forgot something, you know, it was inevitable that I would have forgot something, right? Uh, okay. Um, that looks like more than we actually need up here as well. Yeah. Okay, and here. Um, yeah, I think we can go down to there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, where's the traffic jam? Ah. Okay. Yeah, that would be a traffic jam. Okay. And here we have... Well, we're in range of this, which is in range of a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's just we don't have enough workers. That's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, we got cranes up here now. Okay. So... We're going to have more uh, places for people to live. And... There we go. Okay, 257. Yeah, okay. Now, where's the bus for this guy? You are... You're there. And, uh... Okay. Right. Yeah, so, uh, to uh, make this go a lot faster, uh, what I should have done... Uh, and uh, I'm sure there was people screaming at the screen, uh, you know, 20 episodes ago saying that. I should have set up storages up here. And I should have staged the uh, raw materials uh, with, uh, you know, some lines or something like that. Truck lines. And then I should have put up a construction office up here. And use that to uh, orchestrate... Uh, the uh, the construction up here it would have been way faster. Yeah, well, that's what I should have done. I didn't do it, obviously, but it's what I should have done. Ah, this is operational now. So uh, now, uh, do we have workers making? We have workers coming down to the heating plant. Uh, we have workers waiting there. We have workers waiting there oh this is good okay uh yeah so we got stuff staffed up here now that's that's good uh i think i'm going to just increase that staffing level yeah and maybe this one yeah just so i don't uh, forget about it and end up shorting the staff there. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, right. I can go ahead and... You know, I could just do a get citizens on this one. And we're going to get them from uh, existing residences. Oh. Allow citizens to move in. Allow citizens to move in. Yeah. Okay. And then, I suppose, I can allow citizens to move in. And then I can go over here. Do this. And this. And if I allow, and I get the citizens that way. Okay. Now, just go in here. Yep. Okay. That will that will get a fair chunk of uh, extra uh, residential capacity up here. And then, what I need to finish up here. Okay. The iron mine is just waiting for people. Okay, and how's this doing? It's on the chopper. Uh, okay. And it's waiting for 
work days. Hmm. So, yeah, I need uh, I need a few more people living up here. Okay, that's waiting for prefabs. Right, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's it's going to get them. Now, up here, uh, an important point is with all the construction I was doing, uh, it was costing me quite a bit of cash to, uh, to import the steel. Uh, and now, as you can see, the past couple months has been net positive. The previous month was 124k rubles. And we're over 100k rubles for June so far. Uh, so if I... Uh, head over into here. Uh, I do not have any loans. And that is uh, quite uh, quite a good state of affairs. Uh, I would I think you would uh, agree. Uh, and we actually have quite a bit of borrowing space on the uh, rubles if we need it. Ah, this one is going to finish pretty quickly. Uh, that one's going to take longer because it's waiting for materials. Right. Okay. Now, uh, this one here should bring some uh, workers in. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, that should bring some workers in pretty quick. They won't be especially happy initially. Uh, you, you lose 50% happiness or something like that when you relocate them. And we've got... We brought in 179. Yeah, so they're 45% happy. Uh, we do have the services they need. Um, including a monument, right? Uh, but that is 112 workers that can fill up here, right? Now, I think it would make sense to start running a bus line up here. Uh, and that's going to require... Are you... You're a road vehicles depot. Okay. Um... Change to here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then we can blow that thing up. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I go in here... Yeah. No, if I go in here... I can take that out. Yeah. Good. So, I'm going to need... Uh, a decent number of workers up here. So, 15, 30 uh, lots and lots, right? So, ah, we've got a fully stocked uh, coal supply up here. Uh, oh, okay, now, so I'm going to want uh, largish buses. So if I go in here, the B114 takes 128 passengers, but I, that might be overkill. The 256 here does 45. The 260 here does 98. That does 135 and is slow. That's slightly faster. You know what? I think I'm going to go with I'm going to go with two of these guys. Why? Because I can. Uh no, it's uh Oh, up here. Okay, we got more workers up here now too. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to start bringing workers up here. 
uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, I can they they can actually work in here and in here, right? And also, I want to uh, add that one to there. Yeah, so it'll bring the mechanisms up. Yeah, this is gonna. Well, it's gonna take a minute to finish, but as soon as this finishes, I want to start actually mining, and that's uh, that's the important point. There is uh, uh, what I want is is where I'm uh, planning things, right? Um. Right. Oh, I can also get uh, some of this uh, constructed as well. Yeah. Okay. Now, over here we have vehicles coming. You are where? Ah! You're strolling up the highway. Strolling? Yeah, strolling. And if that conjures up pictures of a bus picking up its skirt and uh, uh, walking on its tires, then uh, well, then you've been watching too many Looney Tunes. You haven't been watching Looney Tunes, you say? Well, you've been watching too many other things, then. Ah. Right. Okay. So you're saying you watch too many Looney Tunes. Well, I used to. Uh, okay, now... I have... Okay, I have a gas station there. That's good. Okay. Uh, happiness is too low. Course is too low. It hasn't finished getting up to 50% yet. Yeah, but it will. Okay. Now. Yeah, we've got. All of these allow citizens to move in. Yeah. And. I think these ones will need to as well. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, grab one of these buses. Now we're going to make a line. We're going to go for here to here. And we're going to not load there. And I think we're going to force everybody to get out. Yeah, okay. And we're going to go in here. And we're going to call this iron mine no iron pro iron workers that's what it is iron workers yeah save and we'll go down here and we will add the line to this one and we will start them running okay so that will get uh, workers to finish doing the mind thing a little bit faster. Okay, so if we go on here, we're picking up 75. The next one behind will pick up like 5. Okay, so... Yeah, that's going to erode the uh, workers for the heating plant, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, by forcing the unload, they're going to sit at the uh, bus stop here for a few, well, for a game hour. And then they, they'll disperse to the various things that want workers. So if we just take a look here, and, yep, and there they go. 
So now that's gonna gonna start getting things operational here, and this will this will uh, construct a little bit faster. See the great thing up here for the steel operations is we don't need to run the mine at full capacity, so we don't need to have the full 600 workers that would run three shifts full, right? I think it's 220 workers per shift. Yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, that is constructing. That That's good. And this is constructing. Um, are we bringing mech... Cranes are coming. Okay. And we are still... Yeah, we're bringing some people in here. Do we have people... We do have people hanging out there. So we do have workers in the heating plant. Okay. Uh, this one... Uh, yeah, this one I think... should probably get some uh, construction care. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, this one uh, is also going to get citizens from other residences. Okay. We can afford to import citizens if we wanted to, to get things uh, rolling a little bit faster. Uh, but that's not a critical uh, operation. Okay, it looks like the uh, spacing of the two buses is going to have basically a steady number of workers. E each bus load will uh, disperse up there. Okay, yeah. And this will go substantially faster with the cranes, right? Right. Okay, and this is going to need a load of steel and concrete and mechanical components. Yeah. So it's still going to be some expensive stuff to acquire. But we take a look. 176k rubles in June. And we're up to 140k in July. So it, there's no problem here. We can definitely afford to import the steel. This here is, yeah, I could use a few more. Um, is there, yeah, there are cranes on the way. Okay. Oh, there's the cranes. Right. Okay. So that's going to finish quickly. And then I think that, and that will come close to sorting out the manpower shortages up here. Mostly my own doing. Um, right. Now, oh, I, I need... Uh, have I set up uh, water? No, I haven't set up the water stuff up here. So I'm going to need a water switch up here. Maybe. Not a switch. Substation. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'm going to need one of those. Yeah. Bam. And I'm going to need one of these. Bam. Okay. Uh, build those and then I could theoretically just run a sewer pipe over here I could or I could let the technical services down here technical services it's in range okay uh, yeah I could let that deal with it too uh, right Okay.
Great. That is definitely progress. How's the mine coming? Uh, we'll, we'll be we'll be extracting iron, iron ore, uh, this episode. Ah, uh, we're waiting for three hundred tons of concrete. Yeah. Uh, do we have? Uh, we have the we have the mixers on the way. Okay. Heating plant is staffed. Unhappy workers here. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Not enough kindergarten spaces. I need another one of those. Uh, kindergarten. Put it here. Here. Yeah. There. Okay. Well, definitely need that anyway. Now up here, have we... Okay, we've got those. And this is... Progress. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, something. Yeah. Uh, over here. Yeah. Well, at least the heating plant is staffed. That'll be good for this winter. Yeah, definitely need a kindergarten. Okay. Oh, we got stuff heading up, uh, up this way. Got water coming up this way. I see. Out of curiosity, what water connections are there up here? Yeah, just the one that I I created there. And, well, we are bringing uh, resources up here. Uh, I do think that perhaps I should uh, do this. Yeah, up here we now have... Oh, half the concrete has arrived. Okay, we might get the steel uh, steel mill operational as well. Yeah, it's, it's looking good for that. Uh, down here, yeah. Right. Oh, that uh, that finished. Uh, build those. Yeah, we'll assign the choppers to that as well. Uh, this. Yeah, it's still waiting for lots of resources. That's only needing three hundred uh, work days. So we'll definitely be mining iron, or extracting iron this episode. And up here, we got 10k people. Ah, so we have people uh, filling in the holes we left behind in the other places. 
and people moving in up here. Okay. Uh, citizens' happiness was too low. Is that here? Yeah. Yeah, because these ones are going up. Or not terrible, anyway. Right, yeah. So there, yeah. See, these guys, uh, they will take workers from the bus stop, right? Uh, as long as the resources are here. Yeah, so once they all come in, those will build quickly. Uh, 200 work days. Yeah, okay. It's going to be a bit of uh, stuff happening here. Now, how's this coming? We're just waiting for concrete now. Uh, and we have the concrete's on the way. And then there'll be another construction process of 100 ton 150 tons of steel. Yeah. Okay, we're down to 100 work days or so there. Just about to the next stage of construction there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just not at the uh, finished construction stage. But this is going to start uh, soaking up uh, workers for actual productive work soon. Yeah, here we go. 40 work days. Thirty. Twenty. And just about. Okay. And bam. Uh, there's no drinking water because, you know, it just got finished, right? And we'll get some workers trundle over there. Uh, trundle is probably about right. Okay. Yeah, we're just waiting for a couple more trucks to deliver concrete here. And they're just about there. So that's going to drop off. Oh. Okay. Yep, that's all the concrete. Now we're down. Now up here... We are producing iron ore at a rate that is slower than we maybe want. Oh yeah, we're going to store iron there. Yeah, okay. And this, yeah, we're waiting on work days now. Okay, and this is still producing at a rate. And here we go. Now we've got a steel mill. Yeah, that is one construction phase from done. Okay. Down here, let's just take a look. That's uh, 
Uh, okay. Those are largely uh, complete. Okay. Oh, that can get built. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Okay, well, we got two and a half million rubles here. So that's kind of useful. And here, ah, uh, we got the uh, more expensive material arriving. Uh, and we got steel. Okay, that's going to start actually constructing things as the steel comes in. Good. Uh, right. Okay. That's still going. Yeah, okay. That is acceptable. Now. I suppose I could just do this. And that. Okay. Well, that's that's that. And I suppose that's a good enough spot for a cut. We have iron extraction happening. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the cut here for sure. Uh, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be the uh, probably the second to la the last episode getting the basics of Iron Town operational. It'll be a little tweaking, I'm sure, and that sort of stuff after. But that's that's all for now. I do have a Patreon. If for some reason you feel like you want to support the channel. Uh, you can find the link in the description. If not, well, you know, you can ignore the link in the description. And all that said, see you back next time.